Hello YouTube, and hello everybody on that are subscribing to my town videos. Thanks for coming by. Uh, we're playing Towns.391, and this is kind of a let's play with an overview of what actually has been added. Uh, supposedly there's also an auto-equipped, I should have covered in the last video. We just got two more citizens somewhere in there. Uh, we're probably going to have to, let's exit this, we'll harvest again, we'll do that little bit of a cheat kind of thing, and we'll uh, chop again. And then we're gonna build some buildings. We'll build a. How are we gonna do this? We'll put the animals farthest away. We'll put the wheat closest. We'll go like this. Because there's not much expanding room this way to the rocks. And then this way we'll keep expanding if we need to. So we'll do wheat there. Or pigs there. Cows there. And then we're gonna do wheat. And we're gonna see how much a, a wheat thing takes. It takes that much. Okay, so that should keep them busy for a while. Hopefully we won't run out of wood, but that was the whole idea of cutting down the new uh, forest. That's hilarious. Look at them carry the cows. <laughs> oh, that's gonna suck if there's not that many pigs on the map. That's probably why I'm getting into all these wars. They're going all over to collect uh, these animals. So that's that might actually slow everything down. Um... Let's make... Kitchen. Here. We're gonna make this our food area. And we'll make an area off of there. For, uh, dining. And I'm not gonna connect anything until... We really need it, kind of thing. mine here, we're going to connect these rooms so they get curved out. So I've got a kitchen there, I'll put a bakery here, and I don't know if I need a slaughter shop now, or if that's part of the kitchen. Oh, that's going to slow down so much production, I don't have any iron. And I think I need iron for some of the kitchen stuff, so I might have to dig down right away. Okay, so what I want to do... Oh my god, we must have lost two citizens in the fighting. Dude's uh, utilities. Um, yeah, so you need iron there, iron there. Butcher table. Yeah, so I should be able to. That's a bakery. So a kitchen there. Kitchen table cannot be built, needs required. Mason bench. Oh, we haven't. So we, we forgot to put up the, these things. So on the left side is what you, you're just requiring to build. And then on the uh, right side is what will be built and kept in your stockpile at all times. So I'm not too worried about that yet. So there's a whole bunch of foods. There's the soups. Those are the new ones. Oh, okay. So that's how it works. The numbers go on top of that, the things you have, to tell you how much you actually have. Which makes it a lot easier in-game to uh, figure out what you want to do. So we're going to go like that. We're going to go like that. 
So we're going to have enough at least to do uh, pork. Because the bakery, we need this. So we should be able to set up the bakery too. We're going to go like that. That might have sucked that bench up. I don't know how that works, so we'll have to see. Destroy that. I just want to make sure that they're not overlapping, kind of like this. I don't know if I have access to that one place. So this. Right there. Oh, crap! I must have destroyed the zone. So bakery. production here, cow and wheat, Let's see. get them to chop, harvest first, all this. We're gonna have to actually make uh, wood armor. So what we're gonna do is go back under here, go weapons and wood sets. So we'll say three of those. Uh, let's just do the whole seven. It's gonna cost a lot of wood, but we need to go set or we need to go under levels because we have no access to iron. So. Well, that's kind of nice that they sorted out the... <laughs> that's kind of weird. Uh, you'd think uh, the short sword would be less resources than the long sword, but it doesn't look like it. So we'll, uh... Just do seven long swords. Or wait, we'll, we'll do seven long swords. We'll go back. We'll do stone. For some reason, I already have one spear. Stone mace. You mad, bro? And then the goblin ske skewer 2000. So we're gonna to do uh, six of those because supposedly we already have a stone spear. I'm guessing it's a loot drop. So, yeah, so there was a whole bunch of new content added. Uh, I showed you guys the bone stuff last time and the heads. There was all this uh, container stuff and then all the biomes, which was a huge thing. So I think we've almost killed all the frog people. I don't know if they respawn or something like that, you know? I'm assuming they do. Um, they've changed around the prerequisites for certain buildings, as we've already seen. And they've added new buildings. They've uh, changed the value and fill percentage for each time you eat. So like an apple will only fill you up for so long, while like a pork pie or something like that will fill you up for a long time. Hmm. See how it says expand bakery now and delete bakery? You can expand it out into here without having to make a new room. So I'm going to say destroy stone, destroy stone. And I'm going to put a bakery thing here and here. Because it seems to be complaining for some reason and hopefully it will rearrange that. And not rebuild. Yeah, see there we go. They're just going to move them. So that'll work good. We're gonna put utilities, um, forge, put it right there. What else 
let's do it. So we're gonna start those. We have rooms already. We just put our forge. The dining room needs to be cut out. The bakery is done. The mason is done. Carpenter's done. Kitchen is done. And hospital. And hospital we'll probably need to do also. how the auto equip works. So yeah, auto equip. And I think the auto equip, how that works is he'll come back and just auto equip whatever is best possible um available. See? He's already doing it, so so I'm just going to switch them all to auto equip and they can pick the armors that they want. Uh, that means uh, you don't have to worry about, so when I have iron, he'll automatically go and auto equip and take off the wood. He'll know that iron is better than wood, hopefully. Oh, so it does work. So they are killing the pigs and now they have to bring them down a level, put them on the slaughter, put the raw meat there and uh, we're going to put a stockpile for prepared foods here and let's put a room off of here so it'll hold shift so you don't lose your spot every time and we're just going to dig it out And that's where we're gonna put our wheat and stuff. So sorry on this one, guys. Uh, I don't know. I think this is fine. Yeah, we're at the 12 minute mark on 13. I was looking at my timer and it said like 27 minutes, so I thought that's how much I did already, and I just totally messed up my plan. So we want to go stockpiles, raw food, we're going to put it right there, and we're going to disable bones, I think. Oh, it doesn't look like it's in there anymore. Oh yeah, we can make some barrels too. So let's make some uh, barrels for prepared food. And I'm hoping that uh, this will allow us to. Uh, oh, she's starting out. Uh -huh. Oh, there's still food, so I don't see what they're complaining about. Auto equip. Oh, it said soldiers for the first. So this will be the end of our second one. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, like I said, we're just trying... I'm kind of trying to go over the points as I go, and at the same time uh, have a good uh, let's play, or at least a let's play of towns, because I haven't really shown you guys me building from the get-go. I have a bit. So thanks for coming guys, thanks for all the subs. And I'll see you next time.